Nobody asked me to farm the barracks, and that's probably for a good reason. But I like to throw a curveball here and there, you know, keep my viewers on their toes. This, in large, is a forgettable place. You go do your Charcy quest, alright, then you use it to upgrade a white diadem or whatever, and then you usually just sell it back to her. Plus 35k gold. Fantastic. I am now of the opinion, after farming the barracks for a good few hours, that this place blows. The monsters of the barracks are bags filled of trash, and the smith is the entire dumpster. Outside of farming the harem, which contains no unique packs at all, or the Ariat summit, which has no enemies, the barracks is probably the worst place you can magic find. That being said, there were a couple standout drops, so let's get started. On the very first run, I drop a unique salad. That's good, right? No, it was mostly downhill from here. Nine runs later, a set death mask drops, and I don't even usually pick these up. The only time I'm happy with this is when it's like day two of ladder and I need a mercenary helmet, but even then, it's not that exciting. On run 16, yet another mediocre helmet drops. This time, it's Immortal King's Will. 20 runs later, some train gloves drop, and man, I gotta stop showing these. It feels like I find them every video. The highest rune of the session drops on 42. What could it be? A lum rune. That's just depressing. It took the smith 43 runs to finally drop something, but sadly it was just the Zachroom's hand. Very underwhelming unique. The smith strikes again on run 59, dropping a pair of Mavina gloves. Wow, so exciting. It seems the only thing to drop here are gloves and helmets, apparently. So, continuing that theme on run 60, a pair of LOH gloves. And look at that, finally, an item that I've never showcased before, a unique dragon shield. For an item that sounds and looks cool, it gets worse the more you read it. The stats on this disgusted me so much, I personally sold it to Charcy. Run 91 rolls around, and oh, look at that, a unique amulet. This is giving me a tiny bit of hope, and it's a cat's eye, which honestly, that's one of the better drops. Not good enough to add a clickbait title to this video, but it'll do. I forgot to mention that I also farmed Outer Cloister alongside the barracks, but clearly it didn't help too much. Sometimes unique monsters didn't even spawn in the area, but uh, I got this Earthshaker here. The best drop comes on run 95, and it ends up being a life and resistance small charm. The irony being that I found this exact same charm, but with better stats on my last video. So, long story short, this place is getting my very first F tier rating. Basically, just never come here, 0 out of 10. And perhaps I was just unlucky, but more likely this place is simply cursed. And with that, thank you for watching. More interesting video topics are coming in the future, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.